Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another uh, Phantom 3 tutorial video. Now this is the Phantom 3 Professional, which is the one with the 4K camera. Uh, this same procedure will work for the Phantom 3 Advanced, which is the Phantom 3 with the 1080p HD 60 frame per second camera. And you can find, check the link within this video's description, and you can find where to order these quick disconnect prop guards and then also the tool that you'll need for installation. Now I've got my own tool but I've included a link within this video's description for a tool that's uh, that's very affordable and specifically made for the Phantom 3. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to be in a clean environment with a sturdy table and the first thing I'm going to do is unbox these uh, prop guards here. And you can check the link within this video's description. They come in a variety of different colors. But I like this orange and black combination. The reason I like the two different colors is that for the front of the Phantom, where the camera's facing, I'll use, I'll use uh, orange. And for the back, I'll use black. Or actually, I may use black for the front and then orange for the back. It doesn't matter. But what that'll do is give you a visual reference as to which direction the, uh, the Phantom's camera is pointing. I mean, obviously, you can use your FPV screen, but I prefer to do it this way. And there's, there's an instruction manual with this. You can read that if you want to. But if you're watching this video, you're probably, you're probably not wanting to read those instructions. So the first thing you'll notice there, there's a bag of screws. Now, oh, that's cool. That, they, they actually included a tool with this one. Previous ones that I, that I had for my Phantom 2, the tool was not included. That's a nice touch. But again, I, I don't know if, if this is included with all of them or if I just got lucky because, like I said, when I, when I ordered similar prop guards for my Phantom 2, I didn't get a tool, but this one has a tool. You're going to want to keep this bag because these screws are longer than the screws that are in the Phantom now. And that's intentional because what's going to happen, they're going to be passing through the, uh, the quick disconnect piece. This, this right here in my hand, these, these are the pieces that are going to go on that will remain attached to the Phantom to allow the quick disconnect functionality. So the first thing we're going to do, you're going to have to decide how you want to do this. You can put them in any order you, wanted to, you want to. But for my purposes, I'm going to put black on the front. So the front, to identify that, just look at which direction the camera faces. So actually the front is facing me. So the front is where your little logo is that says Phantom. And obviously that would also be indicated by the direction the camera points. So I want to have black on the front. So I'm going to have black on this side. And then I'm going to have orange on the rear. So when this thing's flying, I'll know that uh, that you know it's if I see black, that's where the camera's pointing. So just kind of uh, you know lay these out. And what you're going to want to do, and again, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. But I'm confident with myself. So you're going to gently remove these screws here. And again, when you remove these, see, they're short. So the ones I took out are very short. And the ones I'm putting in are very long because they're going to penetrate that uh, this piece right here. So as you take these out, as I had mentioned, you know, you're going to want to keep them in that bag because if you ever took the uh, the quick disconnect prop guards off, you would need these screws to put it back to a uh, to a factory configuration. I'm going to sit them there right now. There are four screws per arm. There's several advantages to using prop guards, and in the past I never used them because 
it would not fit in my waterproof and ruggedized case with the prop guard zone. And portability and being able to keep that Phantom dry is, is a demand for me uh, doing all the videos that I do on youtube.com forward slash irix guys. So this has enabled me to use prop guards but have the portability that I would have without having prop guards because I just pop them off before I put it in the case. And check the link within this video's description for the waterproof and ruggedized case that I use. And you, you can get that as well because this will fit with the prop guards quickly disconnected. It'll fit in that case. It's the ultimate way to travel with your Phantom. You're going to notice here, and to visualize this before you position this, because I made this mistake with my, with my old uh, Phantom 2. That's how they connect. Okay? So... What you're going to want to do when you position this, the rounded part is going to need to face outwards. So these holes that stick out, they're what are going to go in the holes where the screws were removed. This piece sticks to the outside. Now you're going to take these long screws that came with it and that's interesting. The head of these screws is bigger so you're going to use the included tool. Uh, just stick your uh, stick your screw in there in one of the four holes. Using the tool, and this is a hex key. So if for some reason it wasn't included with your kit, which I don't know why it wouldn't be, but if it wasn't, um, it, it's a it's a standard thing. And actually, I'll probably do corner corner, so opposing corners. It may not matter, uh, but that's how I'm going to choose to screw these in. And don't over tighten, but tighten to where it's tight. You don't want any vibrations from your uh, from your motors, you know. And these do come in other colors too. I like the, like I said, I thought this orange and black looked neat, especially with the professional version. And you can change the sticker colors on your, it, it, the Phantom 3 Professional came with a variety of sticker, sticker colors, but I like the gold that was on it out of the box. And I think this black and orange looks really cool with the gold. So if you want to be like Irix guy, yeah, you can get these within this video's description. So there's the first arm right there. You can see its own. And, you know, looking at the, the housing and the motor and all that, everything's fine. I didn't disrupt any of that. But now, when the prop guards are off, I'll have this piece on there. So now what we're going to do is continue along. Again, this is the other front-facing uh, leg right here. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and put these screws in this bag here because I don't want to have... Sean Coonery, the big Maine Coon cat, jump up and make me lose my screws. And a lot of people on the internet have complained. They said this is a complicated process, and that's why I'm going through step by step. So you can see how easy it is, in my opinion, to do and determine for yourself if this is something you feel you would be comfortable doing. And you may not be, and that's perfectly fine. So it's a free world and we can choose to do what we want to do. But, in my professional opinion, having used drones religiously since the DJI Phantom 1, I found that even flying safely and, and knowing 100% how to operate that Phantom, that there's often times when you land, even if it's a smooth landing, that the Phantom may flip to its side. And when it does, you've broken a prop, if not more. So the cost of these quick disconnect prop guards will 
likely pay for themselves from the standpoint that since you're using prop guards, you're probably not going to be breaking props. And, you know, props, the price of props, that adds up. I mean, every penny is significant. I'm a I'm a penny to penny kind of dude, you know. I like to be thrifty and have fun. But be aware of what things cost. And that's why I'm putting these on to to make my uh my Phantom 3 just more. And also it it also speaks volumes when people see it and they see the prop guards. They think that you're uh they perceive you as being a more safety-minded drone pilot. And that's a good thing. You know, likewise, not just the landing, but when it's up in the air, say you go close to a tree or something, and it bumps to, you know, bumps into the side of it, your chances of, of it, you know, breaking a prop and falling to the ground in a crash scenario is greatly lessened because more than likely it'll probably just hit the prop guard and not uh, not the props. So that's another advantage. Now before they had quick disconnect prop guards I never used them as I'd mentioned because I've got to have a phantom that'll fit in my waterproof and ruggedized case. And if it won't you know, it's it's of no use to me. Because if I can't travel with it, what good is it? For my purposes. <clears throat> and what I recommend doing with these screws, if you've got a place at your home, or your place of business where you uh, where you keep all your stuff, what I would recommend doing is keeping those there. I would not take these screws out in the field with me because it's just something you could lose and, and these are screws you want to have should you ever want to revert to a non prop guard configuration I mean, these are engineered just like they were, I mean, they feel just like they're a factory piece. It's awesome. You've probably seen the Irix Sky 4K Phantom 2 videos. That was before the Phantom 3 came out. And I had the demand for a 4K video. So I took a Phantom 2 and installed FPV and quick disconnect prop guards on it. I used the same type in a different color for my Phantom 2 that were uh, uh, they were red and white and I thought that looked really good with the Phantom 2. Like I said this orange and black to me is just it's awesome. It just makes you more awesome you know when you're out there flying or just transporting the thing. I mean people see it they're like wow what is that? You're like, well, you can check 400orbelow.com, and you can find these as well. And by the way, you don't have to go to 400orbelow.com. You can go to drone money, dronemoney.com. So if you're talking to people in passing and you're like, hey, man, you know where you can get drone stuff? And you're like, where's that? You're like, go to dronemoney.com. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. No problem. So that's a good thing to remember, you know. Because you will likely get compliments for for having these prop guards on. And people will be jealous. They'll be like, mine doesn't have that. Be like, well, you should go to dronemoney.com.
And if you really want to be cool, go to dronemoney.com and order them for a friend. Be like, hey, this is a great gift idea. That's one thing when you're gifting, if you gift stuff that people use, so much better because people will be like, wow, I'm going to use that. Or just get them a gift card. Go to dronemoney.com, pick up a gift card. You can always do that. It's a gift that makes people happy. But yeah, this video is just one of the first of many Phantom 3 videos. I'm going to just tear this thing apart from a how-to perspective. Like I have by previous drones. Yeah, and something to make note of, when you when you do have this, when you are putting these on, you know, be sure you're on a flat and clean tabletop because, um, you know, if you weren't on a flat surface, when you take all the screws out, these motors could potentially move around inside of the, inside of the housing. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Keep it in a flat and on top of a flat and clean surface when you're doing this and you should be fine. And if you do feel something that feels funny, don't screw. Let's see. I just kind of do a quick spot check and gently make sure that all of them are, are tight. You know, you don't want it too tight to where you're going to break plastic or anything, but you want it tight enough to where it's not going to jiggle and, you know, something when you take your quick disconnects on and off that these don't move around. And that's the cool thing about the design of these. As you notice, when I stuck them on, they kind of had little nipples that were sticking up nipples that were sticking towards the engine sides, size, side rather. And that's important because that, um, that just makes them even more precisely fit. And especially when you're, when you're putting them on because those are in the holes, it's already lined up optimally for where the screws go. Now these are your factory screws. Again, put these somewhere where you know where they are because you don't you do not want to misplace those should you ever want to take the, the quick disconnect prop guards off. But see, you can see how nice that is. So when they're on there, it adds just a minimal, and I mean a super minimal amount of extra width. See? I mean, it's, it's, it's hardly even noticeable. See right there? And it's not adding any height because it's obviously on the bottom. So to use in the waterproof and ruggedized case that you can also find within this video's description, it makes things optimal. So to put these on, again, just... And these could go in a different color if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. Attachment's an attachment. So to stick them in when you're out in the field... There's no tools required. And 
that's it. Now, there is an additional step that you can perform if you choose to do so. And what that step is, is using the included string. There's these little eyelets right here. And you can run it among all four uh, prop guards. And what that'll do, that'll seal up, see this gap right here? But for my purposes, this is the way I use it because typically when I encounter an issue, it's when I'm landing and it's because it topples over to the side. And just with this, you know, any side that it may topple to, it's got me covered. Because obviously the props are up here. And if it does topple over, and the reason that's important for me, I land in the front of a boat a lot of the time. And when I'm landing in the boat, it often topples over and it, it breaks props. I, I probably went through with my Phantom 2 Vision Plus uh, probably about five or six pairs of props because of that. Had I had these prop guards for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, I never would have, probably never would have broken a prop. So, and keep this tool too, because you'll need it should you ever decide to, to revert to a, uh, uh, factory Phantom 3 configuration. So I hope this video is of value. Please share with others. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order these prop guards online, as well as, uh, as well as this how-to video where I demonstrate a step-by-step -step installing them. And uh, I've also got the drone case there and other stuff, so check it out. Now I want to show before I go is how you, how you disconnect these so you're done flying. Look at how easy this is. So especially if you're like me, if you're out in the field, you know, you're there to get a few quick shots and then you're packing up and you're, you're hiking another mile or two to go to your next filming location, that's how fast it is. So you pop them off and now this puppy's ready to throw in your waterproof and ruggedized case. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixgah. And y'all have a good day.